Jason Reddy. One, two, three, four, five. June 9, right? Uh, 2002. Yes, it is 9. Yesterday it was 8. Oh, June 10. Oh, June 10. Oh, my goodness. Um, Okay, yesterday we worked in the same area. We worked only until 12 o'clock because there was a football match between Turkey and uh, Costa Rica in the World Cup. So we stopped to work earlier and went to the lab. Some of us went to the lab to work, but some of us went to see the match. Uh, but until 20, uh, uh, 12 o'clock yesterday, we worked on, in the same areas as before. And that is here in the northern part of the former 158, where we are re still removing the massive packing. And uh, what uh, turns out to be the case, to come some, somewhat closer, you can from the details. Now the oven of the, the um, edge of the bins, big bins in the north, is exposed. And we can see here that this edge was uh, um, plastered white and it went all the way down to the floor that we cannot see at the moment. And this is, the, of course, the level at which it was completely truncated. And so um, even though it looked that this was all one massive packing, we can see that there were floors in this uh, and the packing on top. So there are uh, several subphases, and one of these is this gray subphase. This is a floor sitting on this packing and then on top of that floor we had this massive packing with a lot of burned um, redeposited, re redeposited remains that we have been excavating in the last days on top on which we have this wall. Uh, going this way um, we had um, the same situation uh, except that uh, if you come this way Jason I'll show you um, we really have to document today um, this temporary wall that was put in the shoring of the west wall. And then it, it's going to be removed soon. And this is um, a cross section from this side shows that there are some bricks in it, mortars, remains of plaster, that it was all uh, put together in a, a short time and really not to function, not to be a real wall exposed and it doesn't have any face plaster but more to function as a shoring of this problematic wet wall. And uh, on the other end, in uh, uh, platform 169, we just removed the top floor from the second phase and uh, we know uh, it had a, we knew that it would have this massive packing that it, we can now see exposed, it's this. So we've removed the packing in these two squares and now we have to remove it in the remaining two squares and get close to the oven in the southwest corner. And uh, what shows here is that this end of the platform is still, um, it's not flat and it is uh, following the, shape that it had had before, which is uh, slightly uh, going down and making a depression in this area. Uh, and it's also slightly bulging up in this area, which was not the case before. Okay, that's all the work that we have done in this part of the excavation area. Let's go now to, to the small. Space 89, ready? Space 89, we've continued going to the same redeposited uh, building materials. What we see, we, we uh, see much of the same as before, but we see some new details. The same is that the concentration of the building material is here in the center, that we have remains of large bricks in the same place where we had them before. We had here before a couple of large bricks thrown in this corner, and then we have the same uh, gray, black, hard, rounded um, fragments, uh, I mean clay, that uh, I'm sure was uh, built as, I uh, was used as um, structural clay in, uh, in fixing a variety of different fixtures on the walls, such as reliefs or other things that were put on the wall. Um, 
what comes out here now, uh, what is new, is this corner of a wall that belongs to an earlier building, most likely. And then, if I'm right in that, this is the corner, this is how the wall, this is the edge of that wall, and this, is the, this will be the continuation of the same, and then the corner and the wall going this way. So if, that's right, then the earlier building had a wall that went slightly differently from the wall that was built on top of it. In this building that we um, had discovered first and excavated and, uh, and have not found any floors of that building. That would mean that the previous building, which would be our space 89, went up to here and from here down is all another building. Uh, however, the alternative interpretation would be that this is the part, this would, we have the bit, the corner, this and that, would be the part of the upper wall of our space 89, which is this building. But that's um, much less likely. Uh, what's interesting is that here we have a big scapula in the wall, which is something that we have had in all the other spaces, and here it comes again. And whether it was used as a stru structure for structural reasons or something else, I don't know. I doubt it was for structural reasons. Um, there is a slight possibility, even though very slight, that this was an opening here. But here we have the line of what seems a line of a brick or some surface, which makes that unlikely. Unless the opening went from here up. But then still the scapula wouldn't be in the opening. It would be in a brick. <coughs> okay, let's go with 87. <coughs> Here is Basha. Um, you, do you see the, the floor in space 87? That's what you're looking at. The floor of 87, now after the uh, scattered human bones were removed, and the remains of uh, concentrations, concentrations of phytolates, even though the uh, basket is still in them. If you can just remove the plastic, I'm not sure we covered the basket before. Um, there, are, there is a bottom uh, of a basket reserve, you see down here, and, um, and uh, it's just near this uh, uh, human jaw that is stuck into the wall, so there is uh, the basket could be related to the human bones and therefore related to a burial or not. Um, and all these bones, human bones, could be coming from this um, burial cut and burial pit that we see now in the center of the floor, or it could be something uh, different and disturbed that was um, either previously in the burial, disturbed when another person was buried, or I mean, there is a possibility of scenarios for that. We don't know yet. We have to dig the burial, to empty the burial, to see if there are any bones. There is a possibility that we have here the very bottom, but that's unlikely as well, of the burial. And all these cat and bones were just uh, what was in there, and that's it. But uh, we'll see. Uh, one. One more thing is that our conservator and he has started cons conserving or fixing the niche that we have here in the wall between, if you come chasing this way, you'll be able to see that. If you stand where I was, I'll show you. Um, this is a niche, the picture number I don't remember now, but it excavated in 99. I think in the wall between 87 and 88, and because the wall plaster on the other side is really all um, with holes from animal uh, animal burrows, we um, it's it's not holding well, and we are trying to conserve it to fix it so it stays longer the way it is. What else we have to say about our? excavation area. Well, yeah, we've started drawing the west profile again, even though I think we have the drawings, but somehow uh, we cannot locate them with security, so we decided to draw it again. 
So here is later drawing the west wall and all the other, actually I should say the west walls, because we at the moment we have the main wall and we have three shoring walls of, of the west wall. And um, <laughs> everything else is well. And Jason, thank you very much for your help this morning. Bye. Mm -hmm. Um, ready? Yeah. We are actually uh, videoing this because I have forgotten to say what was the score in the match yesterday <laughs> between the Turkish team and Costa Rican, and it was very close, one to one, <laughs> in case you wondered. Uh, okay, now uh, we are still filming the same area in Forma 158, and these are like the final notes. Um, what we have, the situation that we have here in this part of, um, of the space is uh, remains of the third phase. So these are the uh, packings and the floor from the phase three. And everything else to the south uh, in this whole area is phase two. And then in the center of the building and in the uh, eastern part of the building, it's phase one. So we are very high up here, and we are um, trying to dig down as soon as possible. Now, when this packing and these floors were put in, in phase three, at that same time, a cut was made for the uh, original, original or early screen wall. And the cut in the floor of the center goes like that, like that, and then the floors, the center floors are cut over here very nicely in a relatively straight line, going all the way to the edge. And so then um, the packing was put in the cut, and it, this is the packing that we see, and it contains a lot of burnt remains of oven possibly burned uh, uh, walls to some extent, but mostly ovens are noticeable, and that is the same packing as we had over there in the area uh, where um, I just showed, where we had uh, this massive packing. So that happened at the same time. And presumably, the uh, original screen wall was put in right here to prevent the, the slipping of the features these bins uh, down to the center of the floor. And that original screen wall probably not, uh, was not very high. Uh, it was more like what we had last year here, which is uh, 40 centimeters height. And in phase three, when the screen wall was put in and this packing was set, uh, there was a, a floor on top of it and there was a big oven, our uh, feature 646, that was built right here at the edge of the screen wall. So the screen wall was holding everything up so this feature could be built on, uh, on top. Um, and uh, only later, uh, the screen wall was uh, built taller and the pillars were set on two sides and this happened later. Uh, okay, so in here, as the beams were truncated, the bins walls were still in. Uh, a lot of packing was packed. And a series of gray floors, such as this one here, we see the remains of these gray floors with a lot of white in it, white sediment. This was a floor at one point. We can see uh, at this level, and then uh, at a slightly higher level, like here, we can see there was another gray floor going across the whole space. And we can see the remains of that on both sides, on this side in the west wall, and also on the other side, to some extent, going into this feature 722, which is our internal wall. And so then we had a series of, of very delicately, delicate floors, floors that did not have plastered, white plastered surface and they got damaged rapidly because they were, there was a lot of activity going on in this area. And these, this is all sub-phase floors of phase three. Um, 
So once we excavate completely this packing, yes. then we will be in phase two in this area as well. The 263, it's six centimeters okay. to this point right here. Enough of that. Keep repeating the same thing. 